strength to overcome above reason, that otherwise he is forced to deviate, God forbid, from the way of the Creator, and even from not for her name. And he who always feels that the shattered is greater than the whole, meaning that there are a lot more descents than ascents, and he doesn't see an end to these predicaments, and he will forever remain outside of holiness, for he sees that it's difficult for him to observe even as little as a jot, unless through overcoming above reason, but he is not always able to overcome. And what shall be the end of it? This is the extent of the, the hiddenness and the need that it evokes in a person. It comes to an extreme expression. That is, the more that a person wants this, the more they truly desire this, the more it appears that they're pushed away. And this is a response uh, similar to the response of, uh, of a parent to a child who is, who is beginning to be an adult. You give them more room. You give them a kind of independence. You, you step away. And the, the, the depth of confusion of that uh, adolescent or the young, uh, young adult is, is an extreme situation. And it's done uh, as by a loving father towards a child. This extremity of, of distancing. And what shall be the end of it all? How is it even possible? Then he reaches the decision that no one can help him except God himself. And this causes him to make a heartfelt demand of the Creator to open his eyes and his heart and to bring him nearer to eternal adhesion with God. This is what eventually happens. A true prayer uh, appears within the person. That you can't fool the Creator. You can't say one thing and really desire another. This is the kind of prayer that is answered immediately because the Creator is the whole of reality and the force of development responds to those particular conditions that allow for development. That is, there must be something in the creature that allows a higher state to occur for them. And that higher state only happens as a result of a deepening need. So it says it follows, then, that all the rejections that he had experienced had come from the Creator. That means that the rejections he experienced were not because he was at fault for not having the ability to overcome, but because these rejections are for those who truly want to draw nearer to God. And in order for such a person not to be satisfied with only a little, namely, not to remain as a little child without knowledge, he receives help from above so that he won't be able to say, thank God he observes Torah and performs good deeds, and what else could he ask for? This action of the Creator, this rejection that was given to him, this doubt that entered him, was given to him by the Creator, specifically so that he would not remain still, so that he wouldn't be satisfied with some sensation at a distance, some idea, some belief. In other words, that he wouldn't function as a child in reality. Oh, there is a God, and he will take care of me, and if I ask for something, maybe he'll change his attitude towards me and be nice to me and take away this situation. No, this is, this is the way that a child um, tries to deal with and manipulate a parent. But what is it that a child can do uh, to a parent that would change the quality of the love towards the child? Even in the natural world, in the physical world, the love of a, of a mother or a father to the child, it encompasses.